Welcome back. Negotiations continue between Senate leaders and the Trump administration on what will go into the next COVID relief package. The House has already passed its version of the legislation, and House Democratic leaders say the Senate needs to catch up. News Channel 34's Morgan Wright has the latest. The House and Senate are pretty far apart in terms of their priorities. But New York Congressman Anthony Brindisi says with negotiations underway, he's optimistic House Democrats priorities will be addressed in the next COVID relief package. How do we help those folks who are still unemployed? How do we get help to our state and local governments so they're not forced to make devastating cuts? Rhode Island Congressman Jim Langevin says lawmakers must also address the lack of testing supplies and personal protective equipment. Our health care workers are still saying they're facing PPE shortages. Congressman David Vitsisalini of Rhode Island says the House passed HEROES Act already addressed those key issues. We put almost a trillion dollars of aid to cities and states so that in the middle of this pandemic they won't be forced to lay people off who are on the front lines protecting us. But Senate Republicans have rejected the House's proposal. This is going to be something negotiated through the White House and Senate. New York Republican Congressman Tom Reed says there is much common ground, but he says the new bill must revamp the federal unemployment subsidy, which at $600 a week is paying some workers more to stay home than they make on the job. It assists people during the difficult times, but in no way I should financially uh, disincentivize you to return to work. And lawmakers in both parties have signaled support for more direct payments to Americans, but how much money and who will receive it is still up in the air. Reporting in Washington, I'm Morgan Wright.